hello my name is Lilia and welcome to my channel so um, if you've been following my community tabs here on YouTube then you're aware that I've been miserable for a few days because I've run out of shea butter like the last time I applied shea butter in my hair was I think about two weeks ago so my hair feels really really strange and really weird um i asked you guys on the community tabs to give me suggestions and like ideas of um what to do next as regards to content creation and generally taking care of my hair and you guys were nice enough to give like some really interesting suggestions so that really inspired me to make this video for you guys so in this video i'm going to be sh taking you guys through my wash day like now that i'm miserable without shea butter and like just basically show you guys what shea butter has been doing for my hair and like the new products i've added now and how well they are working or how bad they are working on my hair so if you want to see that keep on watching but first of going to the video if you're not subscribed to my channel already make sure you subscribe right now hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload new videos so yeah without any more talking let's get into it So I'm going to be washing my hair with the Dudu Washroom Black Soap um, that I like to use as a shampoo. I've been doing it for a very long time. My OGs already know that. But recently I ran out of it. But thankfully I got it again a few days ago. So I'm going to be using that today. So what I do is get my hair wet, like soaking wet. And then I go ahead to apply the soap. If you are doing this on your bed, then you should cover your bed with a towel or something. So that it doesn't stain your bed. It's best to do it in the bathroom actually. You guys know that I swear by this um, black soap. I've been using it in my hair for years. I think at least two or three years now. So I really, really, really like it. Uh, although people usually say that it dries out their hair. But before now, I have not experienced that effect on my hair. But now as you can see, as I'm applying it, my hair still looks really, really stiff. And like not as juicy and moisturized as it used to be in the past and that's because normally in the past whenever i apply the soap i usually have like a base of shea butter in my hair because i use shea butter really really often so there's almost never a time that you meet my hair without some shea butter in it so like i feel like applying the soap on like a base of shea butter just works together to give like a moisturizing effect now that there's no shea butter in my hair you can see how like stiff my hair looks it doesn't look juicy and, or unmoisturized as it normally looks like in the past it still looks really 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 stiff and not cute so that's one thing that shea butter does for my hair so I left the soap in for like two minutes before going on to rinse my hair this is what my hair looks like after rinsing out the soap you can see how dull it looks next I'm going to go ahead and spread some ginger and aloe vera mix into my hair you guys know that I swear by this also if you want to know how I make it I'm going to leave the video in the card so you can check it out so I'm just gently spraying it into my hair and letting it into my hair you can see I'm trying to be very very gentle as I'm, as I'm applying because my hair is not as flexible and as manageable as it used to be in the past because there is no i'm not used shea butter in a really really long time so i'm trying to be really gentle um as i'm applying it into my hair so i'm applying the ginger and aloe vera mix all over my hair from root to end and i'm also applying on my scalp um because this does so much good to the hair and the scalp you can see my hair gradually coming back to life if you compare the hair that i've applied or i'm applying the ginger and vera mix the rest of the hair that is packed up you can see the difference in luster and shine um and yeah even though it's not as shiny and as lustrous as it used to be in the past but it still has a little bit more shine than um, it is without the application of ginger and vera after applying the mixture all over my hair, this is what it looks like. You can see that it looks more juicy and more flexible than it was before I applied the mixture. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cover my hair with a plastic bag and leave for a few minutes. I like to leave it for at least 45 minutes just so that it gives it enough time for my hair to receive like all the goodness and all the nutrients that it can get from it. This is what my hair looks like after applying, after rinsing out the mixture. Um, it does not look as lustrous as it used to look, but I'm not mad at it. It's okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply some coconut oil. This is actually coconut oil that I poured in this um, Jamaican black castor oil button, uh, bottle. I got this coconut oil a few months ago, but I never used it because it smelled like palm kernel oil. So I was scared that it was not authentic, but I have no choice. So that's why I'm using it today. Then I'll also be using my gigantic spray bottle filled with water. Then I'll be using this Untangle spray by Mazuri Naturals. Um, it's a leave-in spray. So I'll also be using that in my hair today next i'm going to go ahead and um section my hair to start the styling pr process 
today i'm going to be doing braids like medium sized braids i ended up with um 25 braids in total so like that's like some people say it's tiny but for me that's like medium size <laughs> You guys probably cannot see but my hair is a lot more difficult to part and like to detangle because I have no shea butter in my hair. Now I'm just applying some coconut oil on that section that I um, previously brought out then I go ahead to take out the section that I want to braid. Because my hair is less um, flexible than it normally is, I'm trying to be extra gentle as I detangle. Um, so I do not cause unnecessary breakage. Next, I go ahead and spray some more water to get it wet. I cannot do without making my hair soaking wet as I style because like I said, it's not as manageable as normally is. So I am definitely not going to get, get away with not putting enough water in my hair. Then I go ahead and spray some of the untangled spray into my hair focusing at the roots and the, uh, the rest of my hair now this says that it's an untangled spray but it actually does not help with the tangling at all like it kind of like makes the hair like even stronger or tougher but one thing i know is that when you wait for a while for your hair to like soak it in then it makes your hair soft but it does not have enough sleep for me to call it like a good detangler but it, can, it can actually helps to make the hair soft so you need to be very very careful as you use um, that spray else you're going to cause more harm <laughs> to your hair than good those of you that are new here might not notice this but if this is not your first time watch watching my watch day videos then you know that my hair um, reflects light like um, when my hair is wet and moisturized with like shea butter in it, it it reflects light and gives off like a bluish tint but that's not the case today like my hair looks pretty pretty dark and that's not really a bad thing but like it's not as lustrous as as it normally is so like it's kind of like absorbing all the light so it's looking really dark as opposed to what i'm used to that it reflects light and gives up like a bluish um tint on its own that does not sound like a bad thing but when my hair dries out like when there is no water in it then it starts to appear dull unlike how it used to be with shea butter that it looks like really like shiny and like juicy and everything like now when it dries out it just looks dull <laughs> and that is something i do not like i cannot wait for this lockdown to end and like this whole coronavirus thing to end so i can go out and get me some shea butter um i know some of you may seem like i'm overreacting and like <laughs> maybe i'm just seeing things but i really i know what my hair it looks like and like i know like what i'm used to so whenever it's different from what i'm used to then i i, I just like I, I panic and i <laughs> i just feel weird you guys cannot see but my hair is actually a lot less manageable than what i'm used to like i'm literally being very extra extra gentle so i not cause breakage um because my hair is really 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 not as manageable as i'm used to um, but I cannot capture it here on camera because of uh, like because of, I sped through the video So now I'm done doing on my hair and this is what it looks like um, This is how much hair I lost and that's because I'm a pro at doing my hair So at this point like I can get away with using stuffs that are not really manageable on my hair So yeah, this is what it looks like my hair looks pretty dark Which is not a bad thing, but just that when it dries out it's going to look dull I'm used to having my hair reflect light um so some of the benefits that i've noticed with shea butter it increases my agility of my hair it gives it luster it gives it shine it helps detangling it makes it helps make detangling easier and generally it's just really an awesome 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 thing to use on my hair i can't do without shea butter so i really want to know do you guys see changes in my hair or do you think i'm overreacting let me know in the comment section down below so with that we we'll come to the end of this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel already make sure you subscribe thank you for watching see you in my next video